Hey folks, this is the Coleman Instant North Star 10P Darkroom Lighted Tent behind me here. It's a long name, it's got a lot of features, and I'm gonna take you for a walkthrough. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here. I've got the Coleman Instant North Star 10 person darkroom lighted tent set up here. It's got a really long name because it's got a lot of features. There's been a few versions of this tent. There was the original one, then they brought it out with a darkroom fabric. Now they brought it out with a lighted strip inside as well. I'm gonna run you through all the features, but firstly, let's talk about a few of the stats. It weighs about 30 kilos. Now the fly sheet is a 75 denier, 185 thread count ripstop polyester. And it's got this darkroom coating on the other side here, which is, which is a black coating that cuts out something like about 95% of the light and can reduce the temperature inside the tent by sort of about 5%, I believe they say. It is worth noting that this dark room coating, while they say it blocks out most of the light, if you look really closely in, on a bright day, you can see little pinpricks of light coming through. It's a bit like sleeping under a starry night. Um, you can see a bit of light, but it does block out most of it. Now the inner is a breathable 75 denier polyester. There's no ripstop in this one here. The windows are an ultra fine mesh. This mesh also features in the vents at the bottom here, in the doors and also in the roof of the tent. The floor is a 420 denier poly, poly, poly Oxford PVC. It's a nice durable floor with a PVC backing. It doesn't have that crinkly feel that tarp material does. You do also get these mats with a tent. I haven't got this pegged out, but this is a, just a um, polyethylene mesh mat here, like a doormat. Moving on to the poles, steel uprights, which come up to a, a, a sort of a nylon um, knuckle up underneath these neoprene pads here. And then a composite pole across the top. It's a fiberglass composite type pole that runs right across the top of the tent. And you also get some steel awning poles with the tent. Now there's loads of features to show you with this awning at the front here and also inside. I'm gonna start with the side and the back of the tent, get that out of the way, and then we'll jump into all the interesting stuff. Now you've got a total of four doors to get into the, the instant North Star darkroom lighted 10P tent. Um, this is a door at the end here, so this can be opened. It can also be set up as an awning. Now you get two extra awning poles with your kit. So this door features at this end, features at the other end, and also features on the back, and it has these brass eyelets in here. So you can set it up in one of three ways. Firstly, zip close, like I had it there. We can use the extra awning poles that we had to set it up as a shade awning, like this. Alternatively, we can roll it right up to the top here, get it right up and out the way, and then that gives us access into the end of the tent here. Now I've got the door at this end opened up, there is a double door that features here, a mesh and a solid panel, so we can zip this closed. But this gives us access to this, the bedroom at this end of the tent if we want separate access ports. Coming around to the rear, we've got two windows on the back here. There's this window here. In the middle of that is a door, which is the same as the door on that end of the tent there. It's got eyelets in the bottom here. We can open this up. It gives us an access point. There's another door in under here to get inside the tent. We can also set this up as an awning out the back of the tent. And this one's also got little sort of gussets in here to give it a bit more protection. Got a second window here. Now both this window and that window can be zipped closed completely. They can be set up as little sort of weather protected awnings over the window like this. Or as we did with the door at the end, we can roll it right open to allow the breeze and also, in our case, we need to let a bit more light inside the tent so we can see what's going on in there because it does get quite dark. Now at the base of each of these windows are these little sort of conical shaped things. These are vents that allow a bit of ventilation up underneath here and they marry up with a vent inside the tent that I'll show you. It's an internally adjustable vent inside. We'll show you when we step inside. Coming around to the other end of the tent here, same door as I showed you at the far ends. This can be zipped closed set up as an awning out like this or rolled up completely and underneath here we've got another, another double mesh D door with solid and mesh panels. That's the back of the side of the tent, let's talk about the awning. Now it's this awning that makes this tent super livable for families. This is about five meters long between the far poles here. It comes out about 1.4 meters from the tent here. And I've got this set up in full here at the moment. You get all these awning poles with your kit. There's various zips and gussets in here to allow it to expand right out as far as you can here. Another alternative would be to zip it cl uh, closed completely. So in bad weather, you zip it closed, it also blocks all the light out that way. Now you could, if you want, actually roll this awning back up completely along the top here. There's tabs here that allow you to secure the, the whole awning right across the front of the tent to keep the awning right up and out the way if you don't want shade or anything out the front here. 
And you've also got various setup options with these panels here. There's three sections, one on each end and one in the middle divided by a zip that runs down here. There's a gusset here, there's a second zip that you can sort of bring it in closer together as well. And you've also got walls on the end that are also set up with zips. So we could actually take this wall down. You can roll this back up against the tent here. There's tabs here to secure the wall. So now we've got an open side here and protect it at that end there. You can take it one step further if you like. If you want to just seal off the bedroom at this end here to make this bedroom dark, you can close the wall on this end of the tent Peg it down at the bottom, down here, and you've now sealed off this end bedroom to make it dark in there while you've still got sheltered living space and light coming in to the bedroom at that end there. You can do the same thing at that end. You could just set up the awning on this side with that one closed if you like. You've got heaps of options with the awning out in front of the tent here. I think we pretty much covered all the features on the outside. Let's step inside because there's tons more in there still. Now the first thing I want to show you is the lighting system in these tents. We'll zip it all up later and show you how bright it is, but I'll just show you all the features first. Now there's all these cords that are integrated into the tent here and LED strip lights across the top. This is where the main sort of features happen. So in this pocket here, you get included a, a battery pack that takes four D cell batteries. Now that does have a USB port here, so I can remove this battery pack if we don't want to use um, USB uh, D cell batteries and use a, a battery pack like this. I can plug this into here and I've now got a rechargeable battery pack that I can use for these lights. These are all plugged in here. You can unplug these if you want. I don't know why you'd need to do that, but that also um, joins up to this switch here. Now this is a switch for the central room. There's four settings, low, medium, high, and a glow setting. There's one of these switches in each room. So if we look around the corner here, there's another switch in this bedroom here and the same switch features in the far bedroom back there. So you can have lighting that's very individual for each room and it's all operated through their own little internal switches. Like I said, we'll show you how bright that is shortly. Firstly, all the other features. So we'll start at the top of the tent. Now there's a wide strip here. Now this features both in the center room here and in each bedroom. Now this can be unzipped. This is where the little LED strip light is situated. So we can replace these if you needed or if you wanted to, if you want to put anything brighter or anything different in there. And they all marry out to all little cords and little access points where the cords run throughout the tent. Either side of that, we've got nice big mesh panels in this center room here. The bedrooms have got solid panels on each side, so slightly warmer, but plenty of ventilation through here. As we move down the side, we've got these little power access points here. That one goes to the outside, and this one here goes through to the bedroom. Partway down that wall, we have this little organizer pocket here. Now in this one here, we've got the battery pack for our lighting, and we've got three other pockets. Each bedroom also features their own little organizer panel like this, but it doesn't have the battery in each bedroom, just in this one here. And behind me here, we've got that door, the rear access door that we can open up to a mesh panel. And then there's the mesh panel opens up out to the awning that we saw at the rear of the tent there. Now just behind me here is a little panel that features in the bottom corner. Now all of these features I'm gonna show you now are mirrored in the bedroom at the far end of the tent as well. This can be um, opened up and it exposes a little mesh panel if we put a fan on either side of here, it just allows a bit more ventilation from one room to the other to get lots of airflow throughout the tent. Above that, we've got our organizer panel that we talked about earlier and the little light switch for this room here. That features next to a double door. Now this can be a mesh or a solid panel. There's two, two different fabrics on this door here so we can have a ventilation or sealed up completely for privacy. On the side of the bedroom here, uh, now this is mirrored on both sides of the bedroom and also in the far bedroom, we've got an internally adjustable privacy screen that features uh, on this mesh window here. So we've got it opened up for ventilation at the moment. If we undo these tabs, we can zip it closed completely to give us uh, both protection. If, if we've got the outside window open, it gives us privacy, um, but it also keeps the warmth in if it's a really cold night. And at the bottom here, we've got our circle ventilation vent. Now this opens up onto that little conical shaped vent that I showed you on the outside here. This can be secured open like this. There's little tabs here to secure that open and that allows ventilation at the low level of the tent. So most of the features on the inside, I do want to talk to you a little bit about the space inside though. Now in the center room of the tent here, I've got about 190 centimeters of head space. I'm 185 centimeters tall. That tapers off at each end down to about 160 centimeters and about 150 centimeters where you walk through the door here. 
The space that the tent takes up is about six meters long and it's about two and a half meters wide. That's on the outside, but inside here, about 175 centimeters wide for this center room. And it's about 230 centimeters deep throughout inside the tent. Now in this end bedroom here, I've got a, a double high queen air bed set up in here. Now this is about 200 centimeters long and 150 centimeters wide. Inside this room, we've got 230 centimeters in depth this way, and the room itself is 210 centimeters at the floor level to the base of the door at the rear of the tent here. Now we've got this rear door done up at the moment so we can push the tent right to the back, but there is a little bit of wasted space at the back there. This tent isn't quite gonna fit if we spin it around this way. It's, I'll see if I can do it. It's, it's a tad tight. Your feet or your head are kind of gonna be up against here, but hey, it is manageable. You could do it that way if you like, and then you've got a bit more usable space down this side here. Now this end bedroom here, we've got that end door open, so you can see in here quite comfortably. Now these air beds are an XL single, so they're about 190 centimeters in length and about a meter in width. So they fit quite comfortably, plenty of space for the kids to sleep, bit of room for storage, but you've still got that center room for storage as well. It's pretty much all the features inside the tent. The last two features I wanna show you in the tent, we've already run through them a bit, but I'm gonna zip everything closed on the tent. Firstly, to show you how dark it is inside, and secondly, to show you how much light the light strips give you when it is dark inside the tent. So let's zip everything closed. Now I've got all the, the doors and windows zipped up, apart from this one here, it's my only light source in here now. I'll zip this closed in a sec. You'll just see how dark it is, and all sees a little bit of light coming around the base of the tent. And then I'll switch to the lights on, and there's a low, medium, and dim setting. And there's also a glow setting which allows just the light switch to glow so you can find it at night. Let's zip this up first. So that's now all the doors and windows zipped up. We can just see a little bit of light in around the base of the tent, which is where light's just escaping in up underneath the fly. And if we step over to our light switch here now, we flick it onto the low setting. It's just a very dim light. Now they're not really bright lights. They give a nice ambient light. That's the medium and that's the high setting there. Now that's just on the room in the middle here. If I come to the bedroom at the end here and turn this one on as well, and turn that one on to bright and I'll go to the far end of the tent back here too. We'll flick this one on to bright and we've now got light throughout the entire tent here. So look, it's not really bright light. it will be enough to, to eat by or to find your way around the tent at night might benefit from still having a torch or a reading light if you want to read a book or do something up close, but it is a really handy integrated lighting system in your family tent. Last thing I want to show you is the glow setting on these switches here. If we just press it a fourth time, the, lights, uh, the light in the roof turns off in, the, in, this, in this room here now, and there's a light in the switch that goes on, so this just glows all night. Now the LED lights, they're not going to drain the battery very quickly, but you can easily find the light switch at night. That is the Coleman Instant North Star 10 person darkroom lighted tent. It's an awesome family tent, tons of versatility with that vest uh, awning at the front here, integrated lighting system and a darkroom feature that helps you sleep during the day or makes the kids sleep in a little bit longer in the mornings. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day, free delivery to just about anywhere in Australia. If you thought that video was useful, subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below or check out some other common internet videos like this one down here.